right. I'm good. I'm Cindy from the upcoming. Thanks so much for speaking with us and congratulations on your debut. Thank you. Um, how are you? I'm good. I'm excited. I'm <laughs> Great. Excited to see it with a crowd finally. Yeah. So for those who don't know what the film is about, uh, what is it about and where did you draw your inspiration from? Um, so I drew my inspiration from my own life for the most part, um, except I've never been a stand-up comedian. And Nina in the movie is a stand-up comedian, and she is doing very well. She's very funny, and she's very put together on stage. But uh, she's not doing so well with her personal life. And um, until she meets Rafe, who's played by Common, and things start to change. So is this, is, um, do you think secret, maybe somewhere along the line, you kind of wanted to try stand-up comedy, but you didn't, <laughs> so you kind of just... I mean, you know, if I had the the bravery to try it, I would have. But I mean, that's one fun thing about being a writer is you can think up of anything that you wouldn't do in real life and kind of do it through writing anyway. So it was a ton of fun for me to write it and then to work with Mary and our comedy consultant, Jamie left us and we definitely laughed a lot in making this. Yeah. And did you have Mary in mind or anybody from the cast particularly while you were writing those scripts? I got very lucky. I, I like thinking about actors when I write, um, or sometimes real life people for inspiration as well. And, you know, Mary's just somebody that I've always loved as an actress, and I always wanted to work with her. So when I was writing Nina, I definitely, she was one of the ones that I had in mind. And then the same thing with Common. I think I remember seeing him in accepting his Oscar, and uh, I was already starting to write this movie, and he kind of seeped in for Rafe as well. So I got really lucky that I got them. Yeah, pretty really good cast. Yeah. Thank you, thank you so much. Thank you so much. Um, well, I, um, I've always loved comedy. I, you know, I was a little bit in that, not as a stand-up comedian, but I went to a lot of shows and um, I think it's just a great way of, of um, processing pain and darkness as well and, and as, at the same time keeping your sense of humor. So I knew, you know, when I wanted to tell the story, which is a very personal story for me in terms of all the personal stuff that happens with Nina in the movie, I thought it would be interesting to set it in the comedy world and also have some laughs and not forget, you know, that sometimes humor really helps us through the hardest things. Oh, it's about a woman who's um, very put together, a stand-up comedian who's very put together and everything in her professional life is going well, but her personal life is kind of a disaster. And then we find out why. It was, it was a lot of fun. It was kind of fast and furious, I would call it, um, which, is, which is, I think, great for the tone of the movie because the movie is a little fast and furious as well. Um, I laughed a lot, probably more than a director should in any movie. And um, I think, you know, the cast was just so generous with, in every way, and I couldn't have asked for a better experience, honestly. To other works? Yeah, yeah. Well, it's much funnier than other. I usually have written drama. I've been a screenwriter before this movie, which is my first directing film. And um, I've mostly written drama, but like I said, humor has always been really important to me, and I was missing that in my writing and now my directing. And again, I had so much fun. I really liked mixing the two a little bit. Oh, it was so much fun. I know I keep saying that. And um, Mary is just, you know, she's a consummate professional. She makes it look really easy. Like, this is not an easy role to do for for May night. She's in every scene, and she really does comedy. She cries. She, you know, there's a sex scene. She dances. Like, she does everything. And she just showed up and was like, boom, boom, boom. I mean, she really made it look easy, which is probably not fair. And they're going to spoil me. And then Common is just, you know, he's a wonderful human being. We had a lot of fun, especially there's a sequence in the movie where they go over to his house and they spend a whole night there together. We shot for four days in this beautiful place in the Hollywood Hills. And it was just like being with friends and having a lot of fun creating a creative cocoon for all of us. So it was a beautiful experience. I'm really very grateful. Yes, I love it here. You know, I lived in New York for almost 17 years. And um, I was here on 9-11 when it happened, and I remember the festival being created soon after. And, you know, so for me, it has a very emotional hold that way as well. It felt like everybody was rebuilding, and it was great to have a festival that was doing that as well. So, yeah, I love showing the movie here.